Hey everyone, welcome to my first micro quad build. I finally got all the things that uh, I need from Banggood to make this happen. So first off, I I bought this uh, 120 millimeter carbon fiber micro frame, and it comes with all this uh, accessories, lots of screws nuts, bolts, nylon, some standoffs, more screws, nuts and bolts, and lots of these rubber grommets for the motors. But it seems to be a pretty nice little frame. It's about two millimeter thickness and it has a top plate or, ha or bottom plate, however you want to look at it, that I may or may not use. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not because it's also pretty thick. It's two millimeters and it's going to add a little bit of weight, but I'll throw it on the scale and see. I may use four standoffs and put this up here just so I can put my camera to the top, but we'll see how, how it goes. And then I have uh, these Eshin 1S 25C packs. These are 600 milli, uh, milliamps that I'm going to use on the, on the co copter. I uh, got some gem fan 65 millimeter props similar to the parrot props from what I understand but I should be able to use those on here I'll have enough room and uh, I got the this says real ACC on the back a little bit different than the picture shown in the uh, ad on Banggood, but this is the F3 Evo board, F3 brushed, and it uses uh, F3 Evo um, firmware, which it came with Clean Flight 1.13, and I have flashed Betaflight on here. The only thing that I had to do to get that done is there's a couple of boot pins here. I had to solder a bridge across there so that I would connect to the uh, bootloader flashed beta flight 3.0. Beta flight 3.0.1 is out but I'm just going to put 3.0 on it for now because I'm familiar with it and it's been working fine for my other quads. And uh, got for the 8.5 millimeter motors, two clockwise, two counterclockwise. Now this does come with all these rubber grommets, but the motors just fit into the uh, arms. There's really no play in that and no extra room for, for the grommets. So I'm going to push these up in here. They get kind of tight near the bottom because I think the bottom of the motor is got a little bit of a flange to it just because of that plastic piece in the bottom. So I'm going to pull them up tight and then uh, dab some hot glue just to hold them in place. And I think I'm going to go with it like that, at least to start and see what happens. I'm going to put some hot glue around these wires after I bend them over and get them routed over the top of the arm. That's my plan anyhow. And then I bought the uh, this receiver. It's an iRange X mini receiver RX16. It's uh, SBUS, and I think you could actually do PPM as well. Let's see if I can read that. That looks yeah PPM or SBUS. I'm going to use it, of course, with the SBUS. And um, this is really. Uh, far as I can tell, I looked at the back with the magnifying glass and compared it to a picture I saw on online to the um, FR Sky XSR receiver. I think it's a exact clone. There are some other FR Sky receivers, of course, that Banggood sells for about 11 bucks that have a single antenna. But I'm going for just uh, hopefully a little better range than that. This one has the diversity. And the antennas are soldered. They're not 
the uh, little clips. So hopefully this will give me decent range. I'll do some tests with this to find out how well it does once I get it all connected up and and operating. And I don't have it out here, but I have the uh, Yashin TX02 200 milliwatt camera transmitter combo that I'll be putting on top of this build as well. So since there's plenty of videos out there showing how to solder everything I'm not going to worry too much about that but I'll show you each step as I go through the process of putting this together what mine looks like. This receiver also comes with a nice cable I'll be removing some of these only going to use the I'm only going to use the ones that are necessary but it'll plug right in and be able to solder that up to the uh, F3 board and we'll see how it goes so all in all everything put together I'll have about 80 less than 80 88 89 dollars in this setup I could have gone a little bit cheaper with a cheaper receiver. Um, maybe some cheaper batteries. They were about, uh, what were those batteries? 328 each. There's some cheaper ones out there, but we'll see how these work out. I'm not sure about the connectors, but we'll try it and see. Like I said, this is my first um, mini quad build and uh, just kind of experimenting to see what happens so stay tuned I'll put this in a series as I go through each step down to uh, test flight and some FPV footage once I'm once I'm finished so thanks for watching